This is the final work that we're doing on the roof of ASL 100. This is the US-10 trolley base, which exerts the upward tension on the trolley pole, which we measured a while ago at 25 pounds when it's up against the wire. We got this locomotive. It had two trolley bases, one here and one there, because apparently they had problem with what you do when it has one base where you have to swing a pole all the way around. And they, they must have had a place between buildings or something where they couldn't turn it around. We went back to the way it spent all but one year of its life when it had two trolley bases. When it ran with the one trolley base, they didn't have hooks, but where we leave our cars uh, stored away without any connection to the overhead wire, we uh, decided it would be the best practice to have hooks on here. The pole is hooked down. Now the main power for the trolley comes from overhead wire down through the trolley base. Notice this is aluminum and the reason we do that is to make good conductivity between this pole which is what carries the power and this whole base which conducts the power down to two wires. One on this end, one on this other side. And then this goes down to the circuit breaker, which is up high over the motorman's head, separate. So uh, one, each one controls the motor on that side. The other thing that we have on the roof that is its finishing touch is this roof mat, which is where if you had to climb up here to do any repairs, what where you would go. And that's the original one, which would, had layer after layer after layer of paint. So we burned it all off. and. Um, actually just burned it and scraped it off and now it's back to its original shape and as far as I know that's all original pieces. The word trolley comes from the fishing term troller and originally the uh, very first trolleys or cars, electric cars as they called them, had a little carriage that rolled along the wire overhead and it wasn't a direct connection like a trolley pole, a rigid connection, it was just pulled by a cable which must have been kind of interesting because when the trolley stopped this little cart ran ahead overhead. But anyway, uh, they were gone long, long ago, but the word trolley, which is sort of a, a slang for troller, uh, did stick. And the first type of uh, trolley device that they had was a wheel at the end to conduct the power. And you can see it over in the car next to us. And when we got 100, it had a wheel on the end of its trolley pole. But we, uh, know that a trolley wheel, when it rolls along the wire, sparks a little bit and leaves a, uh, roughens up the trolley wire to the point that a carbon shoe, which is softer, would uh, be torn apart. So for our operating fleet, all our cars have carbon shoes on them, including this. It's not that they ever had any such thing as that in this locomotive uh, in real life, but it's an operating practice that we feel, as long as we acknowledge it, we have to do. The car next to us uh, will be taking that wheel off and putting carbon shoes when we finally use it, but for now, we'll just leave it the way it is.